There they are. Look at Albie laying down. Jump. Good girl. You almost had her, Mike. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to today's video. So in this video, I'm gonna be taking you guys on a whole long week with me in my life. We have so much craziness going on. I'm so excited we visit the cows, rescue some ducks. I have to bring June for a pretty serious eye procedure. So if you guys are excited for today's video, if you guys are excited to see what a week in my life looks like, make sure you go and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, every chance I post notifications. Shout out all you guys. Let's start this week in my life. Scout is out here doing the morning chores with me. Scout, come on. She's eating an egg right now. Gross. Mike is over there because we're actually bringing May to her forever home today. Her stay with us is over. Come on, Scouty. Come on, Scouty. Here, let me throw a stick for her. That would be fun. It's fine. The perfect stick. Oh, that's a good one. This. You guys have to see this. This is so crazy. Watch, ready? Scout, jump. Oh, you missed it. She overdid it. Here, let me see. Jump. Good girl. <laughs> Give me the stick. Drop it. Drop it. Good girl. Ready? Go get it. She lost it. Okay, let's do something else because that was very interesting. Scout, you can't just drop, like, you know, miss it. You're supposed to be a retriever. Scotty. There she goes. <laughs> She's the happiest dog in the world. And the big dogs. That I'm bringing in right now. I just went over and got them from the other pasture. But this will be the last day that we do that because May isn't here anymore so they don't need to be separated. Well, she is here technically, but she won't be here for long. <laughs> We're taking her back now. May's loaded up. We've just finished getting the rest of her stuff. May, May. Hi, sweet girl. Your last trip, hopefully, ever. Well, that's not what I should say because if she gets hauled to like other places, but hopefully this will be her forever home. So we dropped May off. I kind of forgot to film a bit, but May's now with her forever home and um we actually decorated christmas cookies today but now we are going to like a friend's house area because there's um like two ducks i think that were what do we call it like dumped there maybe yeah like, dumped at like a golf course that my friend lives on and um he said that maybe one looks like it has like a hurt leg so they're really pretty um, duck. It looks like it's a mallard, and then there's this other duck. You, you guys will see what I mean by that when um, we show you them, if they're there, uh, because they are like definitely like at one point someone's pets or something, so maybe they don't know. I don't know. That's the story. That's what I have. So we're going to see if we can attempt to help these ducks out, and if we can, we can take them back with us and let them go at the farm. So we'll see. These are the ducks. Get the bread. Are you gonna just try to capture it? Don't fall in the water now. This one's got a hurt leg for sure. Oh, poor guy. I'm doing nothing. Come here, babies. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Just get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Okay. Right, one. one has been caught. All right, come over here to your buddy. Beautiful duck. Okay. So he's in there. You almost had her, Mike. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, I thought Gage, I swore Gage was going in. Now we have to do this until we get her, guys. Cause she's gonna be in here by herself. That was really funny. What do you have to say for yourself, Mike? <laughs> oh, there she is. Now we wait to try to get her back over here. Here's a better view of his leg injury. So I'm not sure if it's like broken or what, but it gets around, but you can see it looks like it wasn't, well, it was an injury. I don't know how old because it is scabbed over, but that's what we're working. 
working with. He's a beautiful duck. And his counterpart is in the water still. They're trying to get him. Or her. I think it's a girl. This one I think is a boy. Yeah. He is definitely the boy because he's quiet. I missed it, but he got her. She's pretty. You're a beautiful duck. All right. So cute. I want her too. She has been captured. She's so cute. Ducks love hugs. You guys didn't know. You love ducks. That's the thing. Look, she's doing this to me. Look. She's happy. You've been caught. So the ducks are in the bin or on the golf cart to take them back. The ducks have been secured. They are back there in the Tupperware. The lid is like kind of off of the Tupperware, so they're not going anywhere. Hopefully they don't fly up here, but needed them to have some nice uh, ventilation. So now we're bringing them back to the farm. Not exactly sure where they're gonna go for right now. I kind of have an idea, but we'll see. This is very impromptu how this is gonna go. We don't even have any duck food and tractor supply is closed now because it's a Sunday. So they're gonna eat chicken food tonight, which is fine, not a big deal. Um, and yeah, ducks again. Don't know exactly what we're gonna do with them just yet, but we're gonna start there. <laughs> So don't mind my dirty windshield, but we actually made the tractor supply. They actually were open till seven and not six. So we are here getting some feed. Mike went in for us because I stayed in the car so that we didn't have to turn the car off for the ducks. So they're gonna have some duck feed tonight. Hello, duckies. Hello, <laughs> welcome home. Got them some duck food in this bowl for water. So we're gonna bring them back to the barn. My chicken that lives in my barn came over to see what's in the box. <laughs> That's so funny. So we kind of constructed our chicken coop over here that got pretty much wrecked by the hurricane. So it's really not in that good shape, but this is what we're doing because this is all that we have right now. And this was a very impromptu thing. So this is their water and we're going to fill that and then I'll get them some food in here and we'll put them in here for the night. Maybe her. <laughs> Yeah. All right. See can't move. Okay. All right. So they're eating, which is good. We got their water and food, and that's what's happening for tonight. We decided it was a good night to try to burn some of our like clearing debris. So here we are. It's a very warm fire and it's a nice chilly night, so that works out. Look who I have. It's Mishka. <laughs> so, Scotty's barking in the back, but it's been, let's see, one, two, three, three, three and a half days since we rehomed the cows and I've checked in on them many times. My friend told me that the first night Al got out, um, <laughs> of like the cow pasture and was around the house pasture, but no big deal. But I do wanna just say thanks so much for all you guys' support on my video about rehoming the cows. But anyways, it's been three days. So we're gonna go and go for a ride to go see the cows. We're in the ranger, it's probably um, really loud, but I just wanted to let you guys know this is how close it is that we can take like our side by side. So we're in route to the cows and I'm very excited. Look at Albie laying down. No cares in the world. Moosey! Hi, Bubba's! They literally don't care. <laughs> They're just happy to be here. Eating hay. Look at her nose covered in hay. <laughs> Jojo. Albie. He's like so full of all the grass and such. Look how happy everyone is. Everyone seems to not be sad at all. Just got back from seeing the cows. I didn't vlog terribly too much while I was there, as you guys could see, just because I wanted to spend time with the cows and just be there. But I am so much more like, happier right now with seeing the setup and everything and how um, they're doing so that makes me really happy they did not seem 
bored, sad, scared, anything of the sort. They seemed honestly really happy. They were not mooing for any attention or anything like that. So the experience made me feel really good and it's just so pretty out there and so beautiful. They have so much land in the pond. Moving on from that for today, um, we are going to work on a pig barn because this is our weeks are kind of crazy like this. We do a lot of different things. So we're going to work back over on the pig barn. If you guys remember when we put the roof on that barn over there that you can hardly see, I had an idea for making them like a cozier spot and getting into winter. It'll be really helpful. So we have a bunch of supplies and you guys are going to see some wood from a while ago that I've been thinking of what to do with it. And we found a good thing. So that's what we're doing. We've got some of these posts that we're going to need. And finally, we're putting all of this wood to good use. So I'm very happy. And then these old shavings, we may be able to put to use over there too. We'll see how that all pans out. But we have to get all of these wood pieces and put them on the side by side so that we can work on this project. Side by side is loaded. <laughs> it's leaving me, but I'm so happy to use these. Finally, I want them out of my barn for one, but I knew we would be able to find something to repurpose them for. Hey, wait, my ride's leaving me. Oh. Now let's stop. Hello, ride. Yeah. Got a drink, huh? My drink? <laughs> oh boy. Look at that sunset. Oh my gosh. So Mike is just doing his thing. He's going so fast. We've got one post in the ground and then another post will go right there where his foot is. And then another post here and another post here. The opening is going to be decently big so that the pigs never like run into each other when they're trying to get into this little area. So the area is from about where this post is to the back all the way here over here and then here. So that will all be closed in and then just the doorway basically will be right here so that they can go in. And then I'm thinking that they'll like hide out in these corners because that's where we'll put straw and shavings and such and they'll be able to be cozy in here, but still a lot of room for them to move around. I'm really excited for this. So the posts are in, as you can see. We have four posts. And this is where we'll attach those <laughs> recycled pieces of wood onto there. And then basically all the pigs can walk in here. This is their entrance. This will be covered. Obviously you guys will see how it's going, but I'm really excited. It's a big entrance so that they don't ever like butt heads or anything like that. And I can also get in here and clean it out. Now that this is all done, it's time to put the boards on our recycled boards. I'm so excited. The pigs are very interested in what Mike is doing over there. They're making sure everything's done the right way. So this is the idea. I love how it looks and we're kind of doing like the finer details of it right now, making it look like, you know, encapsulated and good. So this is how high we're going up. So this will get cut off, this will get cut off. And then we're gonna do another like decorative piece right here. And obviously a lot of like decorative because these are, um, you know, recycled pieces of wood. So all of these like random not fitting. He just started to cut them with his circular saw, but it wasn't going all the way through. So he's going to get his chainsaw. So cutting these off and then we'll cap it like that and then put the face board, like the decorative face board on. So we made it three foot tall so that they felt like they were like in a cozy space because they like their pig loo because it's like cozy. So three foot gives us enough room to get in here and clean it. I'm five foot, so I will still have to bend down, but um, it gives us enough room, especially with the doorway right here, but it gets them in here and be able to get like away from the elements even more because in here with the rain, it kind of will come in sideways um, and they'll still get a little bit wet, but in here they should not get wet because there's gonna be another roof on top of it. Oh, and Mr. Pig's trying it out, I have to show you. You can kind of see how like spacious it is in here for them, but still cozy enough. And when the the lid, not the lid, but the roof is on, it'll feel even cozier. We're gonna put straw in here. I might put some shavings in here. I typically just wanna do straw, but I do have those leftover shavings from the barn that I might put in here. So this is what it looks like. You guys can really maybe get the picture for it now since everything's cut. It's so, so cute. I love the finishing pieces like this. 
So I love it. And the details that we added too by just encapsulating this and this, it's so cute. So this is what it looks like from the inside. Oh, they're gonna love it. They've already been trying to check it out. Now we just need to go to the store and get some wood and then we'll attach the roof. Home Depot, that's our wood right there for the pig. Um, little roof that we're doing. But we need to get some fans for the back. So we're getting some fans as well. Whoa, whoa, Mike. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> we're at Publix and buy one, get one free blueberry. So one for me and one for the pigs. We are back and look at all of these pigs in here. I don't know why they're already over here when there's like not even a full roof, but it's making me really excited. So it's dark out now, obviously. So we're using Mike's headlights, but it's time to build a roof, but it's only like eight o'clock. So it's not that late. So hoping we get this done today, be really awesome for them. So then we can really set it up because the nights are getting kind of chilly these days, but still it's like 70 degrees. It's not even that cold, <laughs> but we fed them so that they're kind of out of our way for now while we build this roof. So the structure is really taking place. The roof is pretty much, the structure I should say, is done. Now we're just gonna, again, use that repurposed metal from the barn roof that we had. So this whole project has been like a repurpose of a bunch of material, which is really cool. The only things that we had to buy were um, six two by four by twelves right here. And that cost like um, maybe like 35 bucks or something like that. So super affordable putting this all together for them. And it looks so cute. You can see how cozy it's gonna be if I back up here. <laughs> I almost fell. But just a slight slope on the roof because we don't need anything big because it's all under here. But it's starting to look really cozy and so cute. Um, still a lot of room for them all to get out and us to go in. And But I'm so excited, now it's metal time. So here it is, it's so cute. It's like a little barn in a barn. The lighting is really bad, but it has a full roof. I put the pig glue in there because I thought it was a good space for it. I want them to learn that this is like their bed. That's weird. Bedroom, sleeping room, wherever you, what is this? What, what would this be called? I don't know. So I put some shavings in here. They're a little bit wet because that's what like is the deal with them a bit. Oh, but Stewie was just laying down. The other pigs are making them all nervous. Today is the last day of this vlog. Um, we just got done feeding everybody and today we have to take June for a long trip. We have to take her to the other coast because we have to take her to this eye appointment where she has to get a little eye procedure for her eye issue. But I'm gonna show you the ducks. So the ducks are doing well, I guess. Don't again know my plan for them and what the deal was with them. Today, my plan though, is to try to find an exotic like bird vet type of situation so I can get this bird into the vet to try to figure out what's going on with this leg. So there's that, but they're having a good time in here. Not a lot of space in here for them like to do much. So in a couple days I will let them out, but right now we're just letting them get used to the surroundings and where their home base will be because they'll sleep in here for now. And I wanted to show you guys what the pig house that we made for them looks like in the daylight. I love it. Look how cute it is. And they go in there every night. They've managed to keep their shavings in there. They've leveled them out. They've done a lot of good work in there. They really like it in there. So it makes me so happy. As you can see, I'll show you in through here. The only thing I was nervous about them was them making this their bathroom, but I wanted them to not do that. I wanted them to make it their house, like their bedtime. And it's worked out. They have not made it their bathroom. so. That means that they're using it for what it's supposed to be used for, but look at it from this angle. You can really see how cozy it is in here. I know that they love it. And it's so cool because we created it with like pretty much all materials that we had around here. So that was a good repurposing of that. And it's a nice chilly day and we're supposed to get like really cold weather for Florida um, in like the next couple of days. So these pigs are gonna be so happy that they have that little area to cozy up in. Um, I have to go to the feed store today. So I might try to see if I can get like a couple bales of straw and I might add some straw in there too. So we'll see, but I'm so excited and happy for this addition. Penelope! Penelope's just scratching her body on the lawnmower. Hello, Panel. Good morning, cutie. So Mike's getting the trailer hooked up, but this is what June's eye currently looks like. It's still decently cloudy. We've been really working on it. We've wanted so many different medicines, but 
We think it's time to go bring her on the other coast to Palm Beach Equine Clinic to have a little procedure in there um, to try to get this healing up faster. They did say it's probably gonna take a really long time for it to fully heal, but we're doing our best efforts to try to make it heal fast. So it's actually looking pretty good today. Hi, baby. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this fly mask on her. Um, this is like an extra UV one because we put a medicine on her eye that opens up like her retina. Does that make sense? Is that what it is? I can't remember now, now that I just said it. Um, so that she's not constantly just like squeezing it shut because it's in pain, but she's been on pain medicine every day for many weeks now. So we have to put the UV mask on and we're getting her ready. Our drive is about two and a half hours. So we actually are running a little bit late. So we need to hurry up. Let's get your fly mask on. All right, you guys, well, we have to get her in the trailer and get going. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this week in my life vlog. I hope you guys like coming along with me for the week. I like taking you guys with me. So if you guys like today's video and wanna wish June some good luck, make sure you go and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, have a chance to my post notification shout out. Today's shout out goes to. All right, you guys, we love you and we'll see you in the next one.